Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Please kindly hit the like, please kindly leave a comment. This video, um, this topic, I don't agree with any player, college, high school, NBA, NFL, any player taking any kind of shots to numb the pain. Because your body has to heal in a normal way. And when you are injecting some numbness in your body so you can't feel the pain, you are damaging that area of the body that's, that needs to be healed. So I don't agree with Coach Prime allowing his son to take any injections. They were losing the game. You should put it in the back of quarterback and spared Shador Sanders from taking any injections. I know it's common, but it should not be common. Let's check out this video. My buffed up TV. I made a video yesterday talking about my takeaways from the game. Shador is just taking way too much abuse. Um, as we know, we got some work to do with our offensive line, um, amongst other areas um, that the team needs to address. Uh, and most likely, we, Coach Prime and the staff will be trying to address those areas during the offseason via transfer. Okay, with the offensive line, I just found out the average offensive line in college, you need about 40 million dollars and someone said that's like um around 10 million dollars per offensive lineman that's a lot of money that's serious money so um i really don't have any idea why with all of coach Fram's knowledge why he didn't put that offensive line like on the front burner i'm concerned about that and especially with his son being the quarterback it seemed like that would have been a priority to get an offensive line. So I'm really disappointed knowing he knew that and he didn't do anything about it. Reporter and the whole nine. But anyway, um, Shadur Sanders faced a challenging match against UCLA. Um, he got hurt in that game in a bid to manage the pain. Um, he received a halftime in injection most likely uh cortisone shot um while specifics uh remain undisclosed um it was administered to alleviate pain and uh aid him in his performance coach prime emphasized the pressing need for an improved offensive line offensively we've got to improve you see that um Shador is taking a beating. If Shador's uh, mobility is hampered, um, this team will have um, serious challenges ahead. He's going to have to be able to run the ball. Um, so the quarterback's agility and mobility are crucial. It's imperative that he is given the necessary time to actually recuperate. In light of this... Okay, and that's the key word. He needs normal times to recuperate. And any player that's playing this game, they need normal times to recuperate from their injuries. And they don't need to be injected with anything to numb the pain so they can keep playing during the game. It's not healthy for their body. It's damaging their body. Kindly hit the like, leave a comment, subscribe, to this channel, I'm done breaking bread.